Today I'm going to show you the difference between 365 and 395 nanometers UV light and how the difference in wavelength affects the curing UV glue, stain detection, UV reactive inks and bills, and more. These UV flashlights have similar power, but this one is larger because in addition to the UV LED, it also features a white one. Plus, you can use three AAA batteries or one 18650 cell instead of just one AA battery like in this one. You'll find links in the description below. I have to say that the build quality of this flashlight is on par with Phoenix flashlights. By the way, I have a video on flashlight maintenance, there'll be a link at the end of this video. Additionally, this flashlight has an optical filter that cuts out most of the visible UV light. Now let's begin by comparing the visible difference in color. Here's how it looks. The 365 nm UV light appears bluer, while the 395 leans more towards the purple side. Now let's shine some UV light on current bills. As you can see, any $100 bill has a stripe that glows pink under UV light. This is how a 200 euro bill looks under UV light. It has excellent UV protection. And the last one is the Canadian dollar. Well, I was expecting more from it. So, as you can see, the UV paint on bills reacts only to the 365 nm UV light, at least in my case. Here's the area around my cat's toilet, which looks nice and clean under normal light. Now let's switch to UV light. This is 395 nm light, and I can only see the stain on top of the toilet. Now let's try 365. And look at how bright it becomes. This is how easily you can detect pet urine stains on your carpet or floor. Yeah, I'll definitely need to do some cleaning here. You'll be surprised if you shine on your own toilet. Now let's see if the UV light can pass through these glasses. Both Oakley's and ESS claim to provide 100% UV protection. Even though the ESS have clear lenses, as you can see, the light can pass through. The same goes for Oculus. The light beam completely disappears and doesn't go through. Both are definitely blocking the UV light. Now I know I can trust my glasses and they're not fakes. Finally, let's see which one cures UV reactive solder mask faster. This stuff is excellent for repairing PCBs and covering exposed copper traces. I'm going to apply a thick layer so we can see how the reaction's going. Otherwise, it will just harden almost instantly. To me, it looks like the 365 nm flashlight cures the glue faster. And you can see the solder mask on the left side is already rock solid, when on the right side it remains soft. It's not such a dramatic difference, but this 365 nm flashlight with a single AA battery outperforms this larger one with an 18650 lithium ion cell. So, this is something to consider. Overall, both can be used for UV curing. But for the rest, the 395 nm UV flashlight is kind of useless. I mean, it doesn't even make UV inks on bills shine. And definitely won't help with stain detection or even spotting creatures like spiders or scorpions. So, this one is a great universal solution for all purposes UV light can be used for. So, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.